Hey, do you recognize this logo? This is the logo of GoFundMe, a for-profit crowdfunding platform that allows people to raise money for events ranging from celebration to challenging circumstances. But do you know what the majority of people use GoFundMe for? Unfortunately, it's to support accidents and illness particularly. I'm sure if you heard someone you love got diagnosed with cancer, heart attack, or stroke, it for sure caused both emotional and financial stress. Now, what most people don't know is that in Canada, you can get a form of insurance that is specifically designed for severe or critical illness condition. And with this special insurance, you don't have to rely on pages like GoFundMe. We'll go over the benefits of having a critical illness insurance, whom it's designed for, and what to watch out for. I will also tell you some of the differences between disability insurance, life insurance, and critical illness insurance. My goal is that by the end of this video, you can make a more informed decision about whether CI insurance is for you or not. And of course, before we start, if this is your first time here, thanks for dropping by. My name is Thomas, and this channel is to help Canadians to make better choices on retirements, wealth, and insurance. My goal is to make sure you can take one or two ideas home and start making better financial decisions today. So if you find this video valuable, make sure you click the subscribe button below. Let's get started. Critical illness insurance is relatively new compared to the life insurance or disability insurance. And this was initiated by Dr. Marius Bernard back in 1983 in South Africa. Dr. Bernard witnessed firsthand while patient survival rate was getting higher, they were often left in serious financial difficulties on the patients and their families. For example, treatment costs, recovery phase, and other liabilities. If you survive a severe illness, your life insurance can't be paid out. And that's why Dr. Bernard believed there should be a product out there to provide immediate financial relief. The insurance was first introduced to cover four major conditions, cancer, heart attack, stroke, and heart bypass surgery. And now, CI insurance can cover up to 25, 26 different severe sicknesses and conditions, including, for example, multiple sclerosis, Parkinson, or Alzheimer's disease. So why do you need CI insurance in the first place? Can't you just get life insurance or disability insurance and be done with it? And that's one main reason why CI insurance is getting more important. More and more people who get sick survive the sickness, and this is an amazing trend thanks to the modern medication but as a result, people who survive a critical illness need financial help. Let's look at some numbers to give you a better picture. Take cancer for example. Right now, cancer is the leading cause of death in Canada and responsible for 30% of all deaths. An estimate of 225,000 new cases of cancer and 32% death from cancer will occur in Canada in 2020. On average, 617 Canadians get diagnosed with cancer every day. And the trend will be that one in two Canadians is expected to develop cancer during their lifetime. But the amazing part is, even if you were diagnosed with cancer now, as opposed to getting the same diagnosis 15 years earlier, the survival rate is much better thanks to the advanced medication. For sure in Canada, the healthcare system is publicly funded, which means the majority of the medical expense happened in the hospital has been taken care of. However, this also means everything outside of the hospital, such as mortgage payment, certain treatments, and the transportations between hospitals will not be covered. And those things add up, and therefore it's good to have some sort of insurance that helps you in the time after, the transition phase where you beat the illness and find your way back into the ordinary life. Imagine you were battling a severe illness. Wouldn't it reduce your stress level if you know that your mortgage payment has been dealt with? or that your spouse or other family members can take some time off and care for you? Or how about having the freedom to get a second doctor's opinion or to get treatments immediately without a waiting list? And all of this is possible with this kind of insurance. The biggest difference between CI insurance and disability insurance is that disability insurance is designed for job income replacement, and therefore the cost of insurance depends on the nature of the job. It provides a monthly payment and most of the plans expire at age 65 when most people retire. CI insurance on the other hand pays in a lump sum of cash and the coverage can last until the day the insured person passes away. The cost of CI insurance is based on age, gender, lifestyle, and family history. And for a coverage of $100,000, the cost of a 30-year-old healthy 
non-smoking Canadians will start around $40 to $50 per month, and there's a choice of getting the coverage for a set interval such as the next 5, 10, or 20 years or longer time to age 75 or 100 years old. There are other side benefits such as full premium refund and expiry, meaning you can get all your money back if no claim involved. For details, feel free to ask your insurance advisor. I always believe the great thing about critical illness insurance is not just to provide the financial relief, but to help that person to gain independence. You are not forced to work or force yourself to ask others for money. It can cover what life insurance or disability insurance cannot do. Life insurance only pays out if you pass away. It's a great way to take care of your family after you're gone, but it doesn't protect you in the more likely cases of surviving a critical illness. Also, one of the unique features about CI insurance in Canada is that the plan is a guaranteed premium. Unlike auto insurance, once the contract is made, the insurance carriers cannot adjust the premium or make any future changes to your policy. Now, some people might be thinking, I don't need CI insurance because I live very healthy and shouldn't get sick. Unfortunately, health doesn't work that way. If you take a group of healthy and fit people and a group of less health conscious people, did you know that both groups have about the same chance to get sick at some point in their life? But there's one big difference. If you belong to the healthy group, you're much more likely to survive the illness because your body has more resources to heal you. So if you're healthy and fit, CI insurance can be more beneficial for you than life insurance. Some people might think that they can save up the money themselves, or if they really need a lump sum, they can just take it out from their RSP or the savings account. The problem is that taking money from these accounts might cause tax problems and have to time the market, and both might result losing a part of your money. But CI insurance payout is a guaranteed tax-free, and you don't need to worry about the market performance. Oh, and lastly, there's one more thing I want to address when it comes to CI insurance, and this is back to the GoFundMe page I mentioned earlier. Have you ever seen people on GoFundMe or other sites asking for donations for sick relatives? Maybe they can't pay off their mortgage because they are in the hospital, or maybe they need a medical device like a wheelchair and cannot afford it. As a result, they have to go online, ask for donations, and rely on the kindness of strangers on the internet. Needless to say, all of this creates extra stress on the sick person and their families. And it can be 100% avoided if you have critical illness insurance in place. One thing I know for sure, when the stress goes down, the chances you recover from cancer, heart attack or stroke will be much higher. So to sum up, CI insurance is one of the effective ways to transfer risk. You get a lump sum of tax-free money that helps you overcome the psychological and the financial stress during the tough time. And since our medical system gets better and better, it's expected that more and more people survive critical illness. And even if you are on a tight budget, having a small CI insurance plan can make your life easier. Imagine getting that $15,000 or $30,000 extra while you're at home recovering, I think it will help a lot. So please, while you're thinking to get a life insurance to help your family, please consider this illness insurance to help yourself as well. If you have any questions about this, click on the link in the description box below to book a free consultation with me. During the consultation, my team and I will help you find out what insurance plan will work best for you, how it ties in with other insurance or investments you have. Alright, thanks for watching. If you want more videos like this, make sure you let me know by giving a thumbs up and to share your thoughts. This is Thomas, and I will see you in the next video.